Okay, so far we have created up to this far. Now the problem is there is a slight difference between the above content and the lower content. And on the other hand, we have to diminish this gapping here. Now let's press F12 to see what is going on over here. Now in the first case, if we click here into this right panel, we can see that there is a margin. First of all, let's diminish this mark. Okay, we can see that, that it has lost the gap from the extreme left and from the extreme right position too. So this is what which is playing the exact role here. That means we have to organize this margin into such a value that it maintains its gap from the extreme left and from the extreme right. But the gap from the top content and from the bottom content is now diminished. So if we just click here for the time being and we are providing here let's provide a 10 peaks gap. So we can see that there's still a gap. So all we need to do now we need to increase this gap to 15 peaks and now we can see that the gap is now diminished. So here's the exact value that is needed and this is the class name as we can see here mother wrapper is the class name. So we are going to copy it and now reload and first of all you can see that the previous state is now restored. Now let's get back to our custom style sheet and here press Control F and mother wrapper. There it goes and we need to replace it with the value that we have experimented earlier. If we get back to our project and reload we can see that those discrepancies are now gone. Both the container fluids they are now having equal width and they are having no gap at all between the top content and between the bottom content. So this thing is now diminished. Let's uh, check it out with our template. Yeah it is alright. There is absolutely no problem with it. Now let's create this particular segment, this particular area that we have created over here so far. But there is no orientation so far so we have to make it oriented. We are getting back to our project and here into this slogan holder. According to template there is a headline here. So we need to create that headline first. So copy this one. We will be using an H3 tag. So let's customize this H3 tag. In the very first case all we are going to do, we are going to align them into the center part. The second thing is the color. So let's get back to GIMP. There goes the color. Here it is. Now let's get back to index.html and here into this slogan part just above this UL class. Now if we get back into our project and reload we can see that here comes the headline part. Now all we need to do we need to customize our unordered list that we have created so far. So we need to customize them right now. Now this time we are customizing an unordered list here. Let's check on what is okay. It is a bulleted format. So there is absolutely no problem with it. All we have to do now we have to create a padding. Let's start with these values. All we need to do we need to check on with this. Isn't it? There it goes. Okay it is almost done now. Into this index.html we are increasing reload. Now one thing you might ask yourself that why didn't we use any kind of text alignment property instead of this padding. Why did we use this padding 0.2 em and 2 em not this one. For say we are copying this and we are pasting it here. We are providing a list item and here we if we provide a text alignment such as center and if we do not use this padding element here. So what would be the difference? I think the difference is already visible to us but for better understanding let's get back to index.html and we can see that in each and every cases we have used the same amount of words The difference is now prominent. We can see that the text alignment is now from the center, from the central part. If we just press here Control Shift M, we can see that the text alignment is also visible here. 
Now the question is if we get into our template and if we observe we can see that all of them are practically having a left alignment. That means this text align it is practically aligned into the left position not into the central position. You can see the difference clearly over here but in case of practical realization if we look here we can see that these texts are practically originating from the central part and to avoid this kind of hazard we won't be using any kind of text alignment property over here instead we will be using this padding 0.2em and 2em and if we now reload we can see that all those text alignments those are practically originating from the extreme left but they are maintaining a constant left text alignment now if you want to increase the gap such as this 2em it should be increased to 3em let's see what is the difference now reload and we can see now that the gap is now increased it is now enhanced it is practically leaving a constant gap of 3em from both the ends from this left part and from this right part it is maintaining a constant text alignment of left position instead of it we will be using here 2em 2em from the bottom position and now we will be using 3em from the extreme left reload and there it goes there is absolutely no problem with it all of these things those are practically having a left text orientation so this is the part that you need to hang on with some experiment you need to make some experiment with it if we press ctrl shift m that means if we switch onto our mobile responsiveness view we can see that it is practically maintaining a constant left alignment everything is originating from left another thing if you wish that your content should be placed sidewise in case of a 768 pix device display width then you need to change it to call sm call sm4 there won't be any visual differences in, into this display device width but now if we just change it into a 768 peaks now we can see that all of these contents those are coming along along wise th those are coming side by side and this is only due to the fact that you have used a call sm4 grid spacing here not the call lg4 so this is it in the next part all we are now going to do we are going to end up our template here up to this part as you can see here we need to create this part with the border area and so hope you guys have liked this tutorial if you guys have liked this tutorial then do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button down below hope to see you guys in our next tutorial till then bye mm -hmm.